And we're back in the modern nights with Kristoff, who has now been joined by another Bruja, Bruja, however you would like to pronounce it, a man by the name of Pink, who is quite a bit more recent in generation. Let's take a look. He is generation eight, whereas Kristoff, I do believe, is nine. Wow. And this man is calling Kristoff an old relic. It's all right. He happens to have a shotgun and a pistol, so... I'm thinking we're going to give him quite a few clips. Let's just go ahead and give him all of our spare clips. So in the last thrilling installment, we did find out what exactly is going on. Thanks to Mr. Pink, we know that the Setites, the followers of Set, are out there and they just happen to be involved in a little bit of the import-export business, or at least they know kind of where the Giovanni may be. The Giovanni are the people who are exporting large clumps of dirt to New York for the Zamitsi, most likely Vukudlak's goons. So in an effort to save Ineska, Kristoff has to figure out how to get to New York, but first we gotta go through the Sedites, and then we gotta go through the Giovanni. The Giovanni are the clan who took over for the Cappadocian. Sadly, Serena is gone. <sighs> well, she may have lived on under certain circumstances, but we're not entirely sure about that. What we are sure of is the Sedites are going to be causing a problem. All these horseless carriages and electric lights must be too much for your little medieval mind, eh, Chrissy? <laughs> eh, Chrissy? They are marvels indeed. I have witnessed the perverse experiments of the Tremere. Clay that walks like a man, and spirits of the dead. Lights and wagons have no power to enthrall me. That's... That's really... I, I like that, but I feel like Kristoff's still like, Hey, this is kind of... This is kind of cool. I didn't expect, you know, to see this. They are marvels indeed. Yep, you'll be lucky to make it in the modern world. Better stick close to me. Hmm... So he's trying to make sure we're incredibly dependent upon him. Let's try to figure out where we need to go. We have to go see um, one of Pink's boys. That's the Society of Leopold. Here's the club. I'm not too afraid of the Giovanni. I mean, come on. We've taken on a Cappadocian before, and the Giovanni essentially usurped them. So we shouldn't be too worried about it. Hold on. Okay, now I know. So let's head this way and then we head down. The Setites, on the other hand, are an issue. I don't know a ton. Okay, sir, we're, we're following the rules. Don't, don't worry about it. We're good. We're chill. Hello, sir. Hey, the underground. I should bring you up to date on the modern world, Christoph. Let's see. Against all odds, Peddlers and money changers defeated the priests and the nobles, so now merchants rule the world. Hmm. Peasants rule themselves by voting on who gets to be king in his court. And some people still believe the world was created in seven days, even though men have walked on the moon. Says the vampire. Just, just putting that out there. <laughs> um, I shall see it to it. Thou joins them on the moon. If thou dost, dost not cease the foolery. The Lord completed the world in six days, and that means that faith has not died in these 800 years. Okay, that's... Let's go with that one. He's still hopeful. The Lord completed the world in six days, and that means that faith has not died in these 800 years. Unfortunately, not. Hmm. Okay. So we know a little bit more about Pink's character. So we're in a new section of London, I do believe. Yes, we are. So that's the brothel. We need guns. Who do we talk to for that? We, there's a goth girl. Hey, how you doing? Um, Let's continue in this direction. Pedestrian, I don't want to hit up the theater. I'm assuming it's this way, isn't it? Yeah, this is looking like it. We need to sneak around. Brace that yeah. Art of yours, Chris. 
These damn satite snakes ghoul the working girls and boys and sell them to mortals and kindred alike. Oh. Kindred pay to feed on the poor harlots, and the setites feed on the mortal customers. The juice bags leave tired, but they never suspect a thing. Cozy as you please. The mistress of the place is a satite called Lucretia. She sells some of their ghoul slaves to the Sabat in America and runs drugs and weapons through those cargo ships of yours. Maybe she's picking up some extra cash moving mud for the fiends. Uh, can I say how much I love the writing in this game again? I'm really digging how Pink talks. How he refers to certain things. They're, they're moving mud for the Zmitsis. I just love his character. Now the question is... How are we going to get what we want? Because right now we need guns. The previous Oof, I'm hmm? damn thirsty. I could go for a lick stick. Lick stick. A mortal. Feeding you stupid gets. We shall not take the lives of those we feed upon. Oh, bugger off. What do you care about the juice bags anyway? As long as we have greater power. We have an obligation to keep them under our protection. You're a fat lot of fun, aren't you? It is important. Okay, okay. No killing when I feed Christ. <laughs> I love this relationship. Because it's it's almost like Christoph. Well, I don't want to say he's his sire, but you get what I mean. It's almost like Christoph is kind of teaching him old school. I like that. I mean, these were his ideas before the Camarilla were, oh. And we're going back this way. Let's head back to West London. We need to figure out where his supplier is. Really, that's our biggest issue right now. I also love how Pink walks. Ah. Okay, let's try to figure out where the supplier is. Also, yeah, the Sedites are called snakes. And I'm pretty afraid of them. Because there's a high possibility that we're going to run into some people who turn themselves into giant snakes. I know that's part of the discipline. It could get quite a bit worse. Depending on what we run into. I'm not entirely sure about how high certain things go. I know that there is some type of ability that involves, I believe, taking their heart out and then either coming back to life or being able to survive getting staked in the heart and quite a few things. So we'll see. We just need to, you know, purchase our arms first. Let's find that guy. Okay, here we go. I do believe this is where we might be able to pick up something from. Yeah! Okay. We got Pink's contact, and hopefully he'll be able to sell us some good stuff. We're looking we for neck guards. Some real weapons. Those ancient artifacts ain't gonna do shit against licks with guns. You need to sell some junk. I bet that necklace would fetch a tidy sum. No. Never. Oh. Terribly sorry, your lordship. Just trying to save your blood sucking eyes is all. Okay, Pink's a little little abrasive sometimes. What? What do you want? <gasps> okay, what do we got? We got leather jackets, tailored armor, a light ballistic vest, leather vest. Ooh, enhancing goggles, motorcycle helmets to protect your head, napalm bombs, sap gloves, brass knucks, tasers. Okay, we got pistols, revolvers, shotguns, rifles, arrows, an assault rifle. <gasps> oh, if only we could afford an incinerator. Crossbow bolts, modified pistols, sighted pistols, so you could probably hit a little bit better. Accuracy is a little bit better than normal pistols, I'm assuming? Here we go, pistol, accuracy 20, and a sighted one is 25, I believe. It's not like that's really going to help Kristoff at all. Yeah, sighted is 25. We got, uh, claymores, halberds. No, Kristoff needs some armor. 
So let's see what Pink has. I mean, he's got the pistol, he's got a shotgun. Do we have shotgun shells? One, two, we also have some revolver stuff. Let's get rid of these rubies. I don't know what a dude in a van is going to do with these rubies. But hey, we got gold watches. We have a holy cross that we can't use anymore. Um, hey, we have a diamond ring. Let's sell that. We have a silver necklace. Let's get rid of the brass knucks. I mean, we have a sword. We're not really going to need that anymore. Get rid of that. The flashlight, I'm assuming we could get rid of as well. Gold bracelet. Let's chuck that. Okay, at least we're making some money. Will he buy this lead pipe? Apparently for three. Three bucks. Will you buy research notes? No? Okay. Alright. Satchel charge? Uh, we'll keep that just in case. We can sell the onyx. So now we've got a decent amount. We're going to buy a leather jacket, I want to say. Boom. Prevent further okay, so our boy's going to have to pick it up for us. Okay, we should probably pick up two. Really? Okay, so we've got one. Maybe we could fit... What do we have here? Motorcycle helmet. We'll pick up one of those. Perfect. And there should be a way for us to see Kristoff's space despite wearing the motorcycle helmet. Outside of that, we need one more, maybe a light vest for Mr. Pink. Wow, isn't he lovely? All right, let's head over to the underground. The set hype brothels over by the docks in an abandoned theater. Come on. I plan to rack up a few set hype skins before the night's over. We'll see about that. Okay, so we've got that. What else do we need? He's got the leather jacket. Pass the leather jacket. Boom. And let's make sure we pick up something for pink. He's got to get something. Yeah, come on, man. What? What do you want? I mean, that's a nice animation. I'll agree with that. We'll get him the light. No, no, no. Don't skimp, JB. We're going to get some money from the Sedites brothel anyhow. At least that's what I assume. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get a little something from them. So we got our boys, they're all equipped up. And yeah, it doesn't show up on Kristoff, I love that. Okay, let's fix our gear for a second. Is there anything that we really need? Let's get this plasma bag in here before we take on the followers of Set. What about him? We could give him some guns. Let's make sure he has ammo to spare. Oh, that's another thing, we need to look into ammo. Okay. We at least need some more shotgun shells, I'm assuming. And yes, I just love this animation. <laughs> That's it. What? What do you want? Okay. Boom. We are going to need all your ammo. So we've got shotgun shells. Let's pick up some more. Two, three. Let's get... What else do we have? Pistol clips. I think we have enough pistol clips. Let's get... Really? That's all you have? Yeah, I was expecting some more ammo. Maybe some revolver ammo or something. Rifle clip. Oh yeah, he does have a couple of those. Let's go for some revolver rounds. Two. And we should be good. He should have everything that he needs. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get lost in a minute. Okay, let's pass him the revolver. And worst case scenario, Kristoff still has a clip. Just in case, right? Just in case. Now let's go ahead and skip over to the club. And have some fun. Well, would you look at this? I do think we found a very important place. So apparently we now have a bridge haven right outside of the sketchy dude who sells us guns van. Or right across from it, so that's not too bad. It's a completely safe area, right? We could rest, we could upgrade our skills. I'm thinking about looking into at least potence, protein, presence. I'm thinking about really hopping into lore flames and dominate. Those are the two that I'm looking into and we really need to focus a lot more on fortitude, I think. I'm a little afraid 
start investing some points, but we do know where we could save. So that's not too bad. Or at least where we could hang up our stuff. I also haven't found a net guard yet. I know the comments have referred to net guards. I'm a little afraid of not having one. But we'll see how it works out. Worst case scenario, we'll escape the Sedites for a little bit and hop back. Because as I mentioned before, the Sedites are the group that I know the least about. Maybe it's because I'm a little afraid of them. Although I think I'm more afraid of the Sombra and the Zemiti. Also, the name of that club. Hmm. It can't be La Sombra. Oh. No, 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 no. I'm not attacking anybody. I'm just walking. Do we at least have decent humanity? At 50. Okay. So we're going to hit up this club. Maybe we'll have an opportunity to get more humanity. You know, free some people. Maybe assist them a little bit. We'll find out. We've got pink. Hopefully pink will be ready. I'm going to go ahead and equip his weapon now. Run away. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and equip his weapon. We're going up in there with the shotgun. Actually, no. Let's go up in there with the pistol. That'd probably be for the best right now. And hey, we got our sword. Let's go into this place. I mean, it's the Sedites. What's the worst that could happen? Um, a lot, actually. <laughs> I love the Egyptian motif. Let's kick the door down. Well, um, hello. I'm just looking for... Oh, Ooh. We're saving. Because that was... Hmm. Go upstairs. I'll flush those white cheeks. Let's... Let's just head up. Lily... We, we've dealt with hey the situation. I've got what you want. Love, you don't even know what I want. Fresh blood. I'll take it back. I guess you do know after all. Okay, we're just gonna keep walking. Is she offering? Can we just go ahead and feed on her? I'm a little bugged out about that. We could open up these doors or we could talk to Lily. She's not the one who runs Don't the place. Kill me. I'm not one of the Sedites. I'm from Clan Toriador. Prove it. Who are Cry Cry Cry? Uh, you mean the American band Cry Cry Cry? Aren't they that acoustic trio that even though they're all songwriters only does covers of songs by other groups and performs the most depressing? Enough! She's a Tory, all right. Please protect me. I'll help you with whatever you need. Really? Okay. So that's how you find out whether or not someone's a Tory or You just ask them about really obscure bands. Just run up to them and ask them about Bjork's latest hits. And if they can't answer what, if they can't answer that, if they can't talk about Bjork, then they're not a Toreador. But if they can, or if they could talk about any other like experimental bands, then yeah, they're Tories. <laughs> I, I can't for the life of me think that maybe, just maybe Mr. Pink might be wrong on this and she's not from Clan Toreador. So, I trust no one in this foul place. Perhaps you will be a valuable ally. We offer protection even if you can do nothing to help us. Hmm. Also, Kristoff's looking good. Um. I don't know. Come upstairs. We I offer protection even if you can do nothing to help us. Let's, let's play that up. And of course, you know, Pink's not gonna like that. We offer protection even if you can do nothing to help us. Oh, thank you. Thank you for freeing me. I've been trapped in that damn brothel for nearly a year. I was kidnapped by a handsome Sedite who came to see me sing in a club. Uh. The snakes wanted you to give the mortals some bloody good fun, eh? Slip them a little taste of Cain's kiss, did ya? Most mortals love the delirium that comes from being a blood donor to a vampire. Especially the way I do it. Really? Where is their leader? We have questions about illegal shipping. That would be Lucretia. She's horribly powerful. She lives in the temple of Set below the brothel. 
I can't truly be free of her blood bond until she's dead. If anyone knows about shipping, it's her. She knows everything the Sedites know. Great. How do we get to her? In the storage area. There's a locked door behind a cheesy-looking stage backdrop of the Valley of Kings. There must be some secret way to open the door, but I don't know what it is. <gasps> okay. So we probably could have... Oh! Oh, okay? You need to... We're... Hey, 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 what? 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 What are you doing? Okay, so we gained humanity, but did, did we lose humanity for that guy dying? Um... I'm gonna make a save right here, and you guys could tell me in the comments down below whether or not that, that counted for us losing humanity, and maybe we'll play... I might play a little bit of section over, maybe. We're not giving her a gun. She has not earned the right to wield a gun right now. Just killed that guy for no reason. So, there were more... We got goth girls, we have more patrons of this fine establishment. So she said behind the Valley of the Kings, it was probably that door that we already saw. But let's just head down this way and see what we- ooh. Hold on, you're a Toreador, right? What do you think of these paintings? Huh? She's not even looking. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is interesting. So the whole thing about Toreadors is they love art and they get engrossed in it, right? So I feel like a Toreador would at least make a statement about this. You know, they'd say something. Like it brings up certain emotions, but no. She says she's a Toreador, but it's not really looking like she is one. I'm a little weary of her. Definitely not giving her a gun. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. You know how long it took me to find the switch? That, that took forever. But what's more frightening is Lily. So we see Lily. Is that a hand tattoo? Hmm. Anyhow, what's very surprising about her is the fact that, you know, she has throwing knives. So maybe the devs want to give us a little something to work with. She's rocking out or perception. Celerity and heightened senses. Okay, that that makes sense. She's in the presence. She's in celerity You know makes complete sense, but what's bugging me out is there's this like little area That we can go over to now as opposed to our boy pink He doesn't have that area marked off. It's like she knows the discipline But because the story will not allow it we, we can't know what it is right now and that freaks me out a lot because if we're walking into a setite area, you know, with a setite in tow. Also, I like the fact that they point out the fact that there is a blood bond between Lily and this woman. It is not very easy to get out of a blood bond. So let's see how this works out. We, we do have to give Lily a gun. Okay, she's got throwing knives. What can we give her? We can give her the revolver and some revolver ammo. She should be able to rock out with this. I don't want to give her a gun, but I feel like we have to at this point in time. Okay, there we go. She's set, pink's set as well, and we should be good. Kristoff, just do what you do, bro. And let's try to go at the setites. We're going to save before we start this up, because I am actually fairly afraid. The followers of Set are known to be jerks. As well as employ all types of tactics. Oh. Wrong way. Okay. Let's just go through here slowly. Hello? We just we just wanna talk. There's 
some shipments that we think you guys might be involved in. Okay, we didn't get hit with the trap. And... Oh, hello, sir. Um, yeah, we're going in, aren't we? There we go. <laughs> he has a stake. Yeah, they're trying to stake us. Okay. Well, let's go, Kristoff. Good news is... Whoa. Kristoff is heavily affected right now. Yeah, we need those net guards. And pink. Maybe you want to switch to this. There we go, pink. That's fortitude. There we go. Don't let him grab you, Pink. Beautiful. Let's go help out Kristoff. This guy is tough. Okay. I think we could let Kristoff handle it from now. Also, what is it that they are using? Oh, uh, Eyes of the Serpent, which is their own specialty brand. Okay, we're going to have to find some net guards. We're going to have to find a lot of stuff. The next thrilling adventure. Well, at least we're able to find some riches on these guys. So we will be able to turn that into something. We got stakes as well, which should be useful. Everybody is going to, at some point in time... They, they gotta pick up Awaken. Um, we're gonna need a little bit of blood. Okay, pass that to Kristoff. And let's get Lily back up and running. Yeah, this isn't good. We're gonna need those neck guards, among other things. What else do we have around here? Poison antidotes, which are going to help. So I'm guessing Eyes of the Serpent has some type of slowing effect? I'm assuming. We also picked up an antidote, so considering, you know, their whole serpent thing, odds are they're going to be hitting us up with some type of poison. Not looking forward to it, but we should be all right. It seems as though Kristoff's able to physically handle these guys. We just have to be a little careful, that's all. Yep. Eyes of the Serpent's on him. Does that mean we'll only attack certain people? I'm going for a guy behind us and it's not really working out too well. They're also trying to hit us with Frenzy. This is not the best. Kristoff's got help. But the eyes are focused. Yep. And Kristoff's down now. I think should be okay, but also no one has awakened to bring back Kristoff. Pink, what are, what, what? Jeez, Pink. There we go. So Pink with the shotgun manages to do some good work, but our boy's still down for the count, and I don't believe we happen to have... Nope, we don't have Awaken. So let's load back up and try to figure out what we need to do. Okay. So that did not go as planned at all. We learned that shotguns are really useful. 
And yeah, that's about it. The Sedites definitely have some stuff that is quite scary. Lily is not really protected. Maybe we should go and pick her up some items and everyone else also needs to pick up, I don't know, some useful skills. You know, awe, not awe. Awaken would be really useful. Let's go for another little run and see if we can at least clean both of these rooms. What I'm thinking is we adopt a defensive stance and we get Lily to maybe pull a couple of them towards us. Okay, up. Oh. Yep. Skin of Adder. Okay, so that's their whole thing. Okay, guys. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Okay, yeah. Lily being in charge. Not really most helpful right now. Kristoff. If you could go in, maybe we could figure out a little bit of something. Yeah, this is going to be a problem, ladies and gentlemen. The skin of Adder is protecting them very, fairly well. But this is... There's got to be a better way to do this. We're going to have to play this slow. And we're also going to have to pick up some skills. I'm thinking we're going to have to invest deeply into the Lord Flames. Okay, hey. You see me, I see you. Hello? You, you, you see me? Okay. He saw us. Let's run back. There we go. And there we go. Head's going already. We just need to play this up, pick up that pistol. And we're going to sell it to the guy in the van and then we'll pick up lily something nice because you know the setites did not have her wearing anything with decent protection while she was working out here okay so if kristoff can take all the damage and he protects these two while they start shooting perfect also maybe we could just go ahead and okay not feed on that guy at least he dropped a fat stack of cash. And we could get a pistol and... Okay, I like the drops that we're getting off of these guys. Now this is the problem, right? We need to move far enough so that maybe one of the Sedites sees us. Fortitude, let's hit that. Because really, Kristoff needs it. He's our tank. Okay, here comes one. And we just need to chill out. Let him go ahead. Eyes of the Serpent. Alright. What is... I was going to say Eyes of the Serpent do. I'm assuming it hypnotizes us. Anyone else? Yep. And we're moving right towards him. And Kristoff is already confused. Okay. Understandable. So I get what that does now. The Setites are very scary. You look one in the eyes and it's pretty much over at that point. The skin of Adder, let's take a look at that. Um, I'm going to say, what do you do, skin of Adder? Well, that's pretty much all we got. Scroll of Prison of Ice, and I'm assuming skin of Adder is basically fortitude. Or a version of fortitude. So we have a bloodstone. Hey, Look at old set gobbling up Osiris. Filthy snakes. Their worship of set is frightening. I've seen such horrible things. Yeah, they sometimes have humans and cults and a lot of stuff go on with the followers of set. All right. So I think we're going to end it here. Thank you all for watching. Please be excellent to each other. Have a nice day and join us in the continuing adventures of Kristoff in the modern ages where he takes his team of the Bruja, the fellow Bruja Pink and the Toreador Lily on a quest to defeat the Setites and find out where, oh where, the Giovanni are stockpiling all of this dirt for his dreaded enemy, Vukudlak. Good evening, Neonates.